Morning from the lovely chateau that we went to last night. I'm rushing because we've got to get Maria to La Châtre to do the big weekly shop with Natty by 10.30 and we want to go to our favourite supermarket round here first. Oh, on the way, I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of this place. I think it might be the best decorated private chateau that I've ever been to. This is the Grand Salon. It's so stunningly beautiful. And for all of you interior design addicts who want to know the details, the fabric walls and the curtains are by Braconnier and the extraordinary palm leaf carpet is by Madeleine Castaing. And the way that it's all put together in a slightly mid 19th century Napoleon III style is quite similar to the work of Jacques Garcia. If any of you want to know more about the history of interior design in France, there are three really good names to look at. And I'll put them in the description box below. But I've got to keep on going. It's a shame I want to show you every single detail. I looked at the comments last night and a few of you were asking if it was possible to have a tour of this chateau. And I haven't got time to do a full tour now, but I'll just show you a little bit because it's so beautiful. disappeared. Yeah, I don't know where John is. Outside, uh, oh yeah, he's using the drone. Yeah. Yes, I didn't think we'd have time. Yeah, That's great. Know. He said that he saw John on somewhere in the park. Have you noticed how shiny this kitchen is? Yeah. Oh, the floors in my room were like waxed to perfection. Oh, it's incredible. It, yeah, yeah. Everything is just gleaming. Look at those patterns. Look at this. And you know why? Why? Because then there are other prep kitchens. So the kitchen so where one, kitchens. Has to yes. enjoy, one, one gets to enjoy is for one's enjoyment, and the other kitchen where other people are meant to provide nourishment <laughs> and food <laughs> from large groups is not the same kitchen. Are you saying Lalande doesn't have enough kitchens? Is that is that what you're saying? I'm just saying if you want this level of perfection, I'm just you feeling you a little attacked right now. I'm it's going outside. Area. This is an official sulk now. Okay, I'm bored of my sock. All right, I'm going to grab some tea. Yeah, well, but also, I don't, I don't know, even if it is just two people using it, I'm just, I don't understand how everyone... No, I don't understand it either. I, I will be honest. Philip was actually trying to locate you with a drone. This is a new spying technique. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's been asking, what chateau are you at? And who is the owner and what is going on? I think most people will probably recognise you, if only as Magritte's painting from your party. Yeah. So this is John, everybody. Thank you so much for letting us stay here, John. It's been amazing. It was, it was really fun. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to go today. Yeah, well... It was too short. Uh, my carriage is going to turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> so uh, I must make my way in before that happens. Thank you for the perfect evening. Yeah. You're seriously going by the pool all day today. Exactly. Oh dear, we've got a very different day ahead of us. Okay. Starting with the supermarket. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Bye, John. Okay. Lots of love to all of you. Bye. Bye-bye. Whilst we're making our way back to La Lande, I will show you the moment yesterday when we were trying to choose the perfect gift to bring to John and Kamel. What do you take to the most elegant people who live in the most beautiful chateau you've ever seen and who are great cooks? Obviously, we're going to take wine and it's great for us because we have such a big selection to choose from. In fact, I know exactly what I'm taking. A 2018 Villa Calicantus from Lake Garda. I've actually been to this vineyard. I've met the owner. I'm super excited 
wanted to share it with my friends. But if you don't live with amazing vineyards on your doorstep, Bright Sellers have come up with a great alternative and they've kindly offered to sponsor this video with this ad. For those of you who don't know what Bright Sellers is, it's a wine club that sends you a huge variety of wines, but specifically curated to your tastes. And it's really ingenious the way they do this. They have a quick quiz with just seven questions. They're quite fun to answer. It's things like, what's your favourite cocktail? So I said dry martini, of course. And based on your answers, it matches you with wines from all over the world. So as soon as I filled in the quiz, I was matched with an oaky, creamy Chardonnay with hints of pineapple and vanilla. I mean, it sounds absolutely delicious and exactly the kind of white wine that I love. Each bottle comes with a wine education card that outlines its origin, tasting notes and suggested pairings. And once you've tasted it, you can rate the wines to improve your future matches. Also, it is satisfaction guaranteed because if you don't like a bottle, they will replace it. And on top of that, I'd like to thank Bright Sellers because they're offering my viewers a special discount. If you click the link in the description box below, you'll receive your first six bottle subscription box, which is usually over $150 for just $55. So to make the most of that offer, just click the link below and take the quiz. And now I'm going to look for the wines. I think two of these, Philip, and maybe a couple of rosés as well. Okay, we're arriving at the supermarket, our favourite supermarket, it's called supermarket Grand Frais. Dreams. Oh yeah. yeah, so we can only go in for what, 10 minutes? This is yes. a, a smash and grab. No. <laughs> well, no, yeah, no, I think no, it's a hit and run. Hit yeah. and run, yeah. Oh, okay. I feel things oh don't running. say that while I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do we need? Fancy cheese, fancy, fancy butter, cheese. and fancy vegetables. So you said there's fancy butter here that I didn't know about. Yes. Sorry that I'm in the same dress as yesterday, by the way. I remember to bring a change for last night to be all glamorous. Forgot to bring something for today. Pears. Don't mind if I do. Look, Got a pair up. Oh. Oh, oh, well, that marketing worked, didn't it? <laughs> You're going to grab a melon. Right. Okay, never mind the fruit. Let's get down to the butter. I have found the butter and these are the ones that Maria was talking about. So there's all these different flavors. This one is pepper and pink pepper. Here we have summer truffle, lemon and olive oil and parsley. How to choose. That's how to choose one of each. Obviously I wouldn't usually be so extravagant, but we're under real time pressure. So I haven't got time to stand there deciding. I got one of each. See, I told you. Oh, you got all the different kinds? Yeah. Which one is the... Oh, yeah, see, this is the one that Kamel uh, told me about. The yeah. pink pepper. Yeah. Okay, then we've got summer truffle, lemon and parsley. Pineapple juice, which you can actually get in any supermarket, yeah. darling. I know. It's you look so happy. I thought Maria would like bottles. Ah. Oh. So I'm just doing, you know, her a favour by <laughs> drinking the juice and then giving her the... Clever. Well, look, her juice. Oh, that is unusual. And? Leaching. Mm. I got some haddocks. Oh, I love haddock. Yes. Oh, but there's so many raspberries. Yeah. That's a lot of them. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, what's <laughs> You're in your happy place. Oh my God. Honestly, like some people will have, like, we'll go into like a designer bag shop, you know, and then they'll go back. No, this is me. Me and bougie food, like bougie fa uh, packaging. You can sell me anything. Anything. <laughs> what about bougie aioli? Yeah. <laughs> yes. They even have the chill citoise. This is an octopus pie, actually, that we have a lot of in the south of France. It comes from Set, a little town near where I used to go with my grandmother. So I am definitely going to be taking some of that. My favorite fruit. My favorite. Your favorite fruit? Yeah. What's well, this called, called again? Chirimoya or I think it's sour cream apple. I had them once here and they were really, really good. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Dragon fruit. Have you ever had a dragon fruit before? I don't think you so. You know, well, it's, oh. it doesn't really have any flavor, which okay. I actually enjoy, <laughs> but it's quite like refreshing. Oh. <laughs> this is good. And look what great money, value for money. You can either get this. Yes. Or you can pay four euros for that, or five euros for this, where we can shave that ourselves. ourselves. You're very swanky. The, it's, which is that? Big one, yeah? We're going to get through that. I think so, yeah. Next month. Definitely. On everything. <laughs> Shall we try the Puglia things? Puliera? Puglia? Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is fun. Two of those. Oh, they my favorite. Oh, well, let's get some of those as well. I think they're already good. They look a bit different. All right, well, let's 
Try it. Oh, halloumi. <laughs> the proper is, stuff. This looks correct. I always kind of feel mine. Because the firmer it is, the more salt it has. So you want the soft ones. And then this is a Greek cheese, manuri. It's really lovely. It's a little bit like better, but creamier and softer. <laughs> I'm starting to salivate. Can we just put them in there and then we'll take them home? <laughs> Artichoke ravioli. I have to try that. I have to say, it just looks right, doesn't it? Yeah. Have you seen the fun mushrooms that Maria found? And I got chervil. I just love chervil. Yeah. And we didn't just indulge ourselves. We bought lots of useful things for the dinners. See you later. It's all, it's all over. It's a big supermarket day for you. I'm back to where I belong. <laughs> so that makes us a pumpkin again, I guess. Uh, well, I don't know. For yourself. <laughs> oh no, we're the footmen. I'm the mouse. So we're the mice. Yes. I know that the horses became the mice. I know it's the mouse of the See frog. Back bye. Bye bye. Maria's just running in to meet Natty in the supermarket. How do we feel about a cheeky little neck door? I actually can't because I had breakfast this morning. Would you have a little hamburger? I would, I would only have a little... I'll eat your gherkin. Bread. You're an absolute traitor. I know you. He went to order himself a hamburger and he ordered me a fillet of fish as well. No! Oh, I, I was being good. You'll have to buy me the whole new wardrobe. I was going to buy you the hamburger. <laughs> I do admit that this is very good. You're a feeder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to do something nice with my girlfriend. <laughs> We were finally on our way home when we passed a little antique shop. Philip looked in the window and immediately pulled over. So, <laughs> looks as though got, we're going in. They've got two beautiful pair of cashpo. You know, I love Oh, we must stop for cashpo. Yeah, they're really nice. Bonjour. 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 I really love this shop. Oh, he's looking at it. Someone looks happy. Very happy. Actually. So, where are you going to put them? Oh, good question. So, I don't know yet. I think it would look very good in like the reception rooms or maybe even frankly in the dining room. But on the other hand, I really like them. They might go very well with my desk. So <laughs> just to see. I feel like the idea of the dining room yeah. actually, yeah. And maybe it's been out on the sideboard. Because of the blackberries. Amory's called me over. How's it going? It was been cracking on really, really well. Ah, it's really changed, hasn't it? Oh, it does. I mean, finally, I can start to see where all that money's gone. <laughs> These are huge. And that, I mean, it's very shiny. It's very, it's like the Starship Enterprise. That is my technical view point of this heating system as well. Does it or does it not look like the Starship Enterprise? That looks very good, those gauges. Oh, so many gauges. Yeah. Are we supposed to learn what they all do? Well, I don't know. It's a fan. I have to. I have to say, I did have to learn with you the did. last boiler room. Yeah. You did. I'll do it. Yeah. But no, it's looking brilliant. And we've gone for a two boiler system so that if one ever breaks, we at least can be limping along. They needed the last section of the wall up, which was there, so that Nathan can uh, get the old consumer units off. Then I can board it and then he can put the new consumer units on. So, what Nathan's going to do is take it all off. I'll double board it for the fireproofing. And then he will then put one consumer unit in. He can then do the last couple of bits around there. And then I can then build the rest of the room and the roof. But obviously having to work in conjunction with the tack room. Yeah. Your room I know we can us. never work here when the guests are above. I did. <laughs> what? Really the water that I shut off also shuts off the tack room. But I forgot to mention to Natty that I was shutting the water off. For her to mention to the guests. So, shut the water off. The boys cut the water pipe. I started fitting the uh, the last section of this back wall in, and then I had Natty walking towards me, looking a little bit <laughs> confused and a bit miffed, thinking that the boys had done something, whereas in fact it was me, and I just completely <laughs> forgot to say and tell her. Did you hear how sweet the guest was? He seemed to be so apologetic. He was, he was, he was so British. Wondering. Yeah, he's like, I'm so sorry, so sorry to disturb you. Just thought you should know there's no water. I mean, it doesn't bother us at all, but you know, in case you needed to know there was no water. He was so lovely. You know, yeah, they were a lovely couple. I just, it just, just escaped me. <laughs> it's it. it was off, it was off for all three hours. And it was but during the day. It, was, it wasn't it sort was, of. Um, yeah, it was during, just before lunch. Yeah. And, uh, 
and yeah, I just, it just completely escaped me. Escaped me. I felt so bad. That everyone was, so was happy. It everyone was, was all happy, good. Very at the same time. <laughs> please, just, please let us turn them on this winter. They can warm you up just looking at them. Shall we do that in winter? Just come out and sit in front of them. Yeah, just, <laughs> just look. Yeah. All right, thanks. No worries. I'll see you later. See you later. So I've just bought these. There's a pair of them. And uh, do we any have any plants that could go in them? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. No, we have a different one. So this is the cash pool expert meeting the plant expert. This is a beautiful moment. It seems to remind me of this other cash pool that we have the bigger yeah. ones. The one with the uh, bird on it. We got it because of the Lalan blackberries. Look, oh. do you see the blackberries on it? Oh, yeah. yeah. did we? <laughs> Well, I mean, what's yours is mine. And then, <laughs> so always says, with, with yours is mine, and what mine is also mine. <laughs> yeah, the sea is so oh, long. And mirror, yeah. look. Yeah. So there. Oh, nice. Nice, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe we'll put them in, in the dining room. Have you seen Philip's cash No. He just got them today at the little antique shop in La Châtre. Oh, they're I thought they were for your um, studio upstairs. No, well, well, Philip said he thought they might look good here, and I think the colours are great. Yeah, I love the colours in here. Pavlina's looking for plants to repot for them, but until then, they can wait in here. We're going through to have dinner now with all the goodies that we got in the supermarket, but I wanted to let you all know that this experiment week of dailies has made me realise that I can't do seven nights a week. It would just be too much because of the guest dinners that we have on Friday and Saturday and because they're the days that I can be editing the other channels that I do as well. However, the good news is I've loved it. It's really felt like a diary as it was at the beginning and I've thoroughly enjoyed doing it. So next week I will be doing five daily videos again from Sunday to Thursday and I'm seriously considering continuing with that from then on. So let me know what you think of them please and if you like this format. This one's a little bit longer than the others because obviously there was a sponsorship in it and also the outro. I'm thinking of thanking all of my patrons at the end of each Thursday video and then keep the others much shorter. So I'd love any feedback because I'm at the experimental stage of this at the moment but I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. Right, let's go and have some nice food. Well I think we're going to try all the butters uh, and the smoked salmon. We, we sort of got everything. Yeah. Are you feeling better by the way Marie? Yeah well mm. a little bit better. Okay not there yet. No, no. Okay take it easy. I will. I like to have Norwegian smoked salmon. <laughs> <laughs> did you have this with our grandmother in your childhood? Yeah I did but I, but I threw it up. You Oh, I loved it so much. Hopefully we'll get through the meal without Amory vomiting. Yeah, you definitely yeah. don't have to have the <laughs> And I won't say Adamant this time because I will next see you on Sunday. Alors, à dimanche. A huge thank you to all of my patrons and a reminder that this week's patron video is Hot Flower Guy singing incredibly at John and Kamel's Chateau last night. And for those of you who aren't patrons, don't worry, I have arranged to go and see Hot Flower Guy in his flower farm next week. I can buy myself flowers Round my name in the sand Talk to myself for hours Mm -hmm. Some things you don't understand I can keep myself dancing Oh, I can hold my hand And I can love me better than You can Can love me better I can love me better, baby Can love me better I can love me better, baby Today I'd like to say a special thank you to Jimmy Kemp, Cynthia M. Kleist, Laura Lace and David and Summer Lalan. Thank you so much for supporting the Chateau Diaries. Lots of love to everyone watching and I can't wait to see you again on Sunday.